There's a lot of buzz in James City County when it comes to bees and who can have them on their property. Residents there reached out to 10 on your side after concerns about losing the hives they've had for years. And 10 on your side's Laura Queso made the trip to meet the beekeepers, and she has both sides of the story, Laura. Yeah, that's right. Residents say bees are so important to the environment and the economy. And I'm told they are pushing to make changes to city code. Being a beekeeper takes tender love and care. And Katie Spurl says the benefits of these hives speak volumes. They're vital for the community. A lot of people go looking for local honey. Spurl started beekeeping to support the environment and to save the honeybee. It actually originated here in Jamestown um, in 1622, which I think is really cool. So I think that it should be something that's celebrated and not as regulated. But just last week, Sproul realized how regulated beekeeping is when her neighbor received a notice from the county. A fellow beekeeper was told that after seven years of keeping bees on her property with no issue at all, that um, she had to remove her bees from her property because the county received one complaint. We've learned from the director of community development that a complaint was in fact filed by a resident. I'm told the county ordinance states where and when folks can and cannot keep livestock and other animals. In this case, the beekeeper was not supposed to have hives in the residential area where she housed them. But the president of the Williamsburg Beekeepers Association and Sproul tell me they want an amendment to the ordinance. Our main push right now is to add an addition that beekeeping is allowed in the zones um, in James City County. So we just need that little amendment added, and that's all that we're asking for. The ordinance regarding housing hives in James City County was written in 1989. These are my ladies. And she wants her ladies to get all of the help they can get. Just like backyard chickens were put into motion and passed, um, I think that public pressure never hurts. The Williamsburg Bee Association has gone before the Board of Supervisors with their ideas. We'll keep you updated and let you know if the regulations change. Laura Queso, 10 on your side.